Before we move on to recording, I think it would be good to go over the inspector and some functional aspects of logic. Now, as I said in a previous video, this area here is called the inspector. Now you can toggle it on and off by pressing I, India, or by clicking up here on the control bar. Now the inspector has three parts. This one down here we have briefly looked at is the channel strip that corresponds to the selected track. And as you can see, it changes depending on what I select. Now, uh, the other two parts are the region and track inspector. Uh, the region inspector settings apply to the selected region and the track inspector settings apply to the selected track. So let's start from the top. Let's use, uh, let's go with the region inspector. Now, as I said, this corresponds to the selected region, not track. So if I select this region here, then the settings of the region inspector will only affect this selected region and not the other two. Now the settings change depending on, on if you have selected an audio or a MIDI region. Now let's start with the MIDI regions. Now, first thing, you can double click up here and rename the region. Let's say L for electric piano. Now since I brought it up, let me show you some other ways of renaming a region. You can click on it and then hold shift and press N and you can change the name again, let's go back to Piano or you can use the tools here and select the text tool and whenever you hover above a region it will change the text tool so let's go back to Electric Piano and change back to the pointer now, below that we can mute and underneath that we can loop, which we've seen in the cycle video and then we get a quantize option if you click on it, it will bring up all of our options. We also have two modes of quantization, classic and smart. I won't go into these now because I have a separate video on quantizing where we look at everything in detail, same for Q-Swing. So transpose. You can either click on the arrows so that you can select transpose by octaves. Now, or click and drag, or you can simply double click and then you can just type it in, let's say 8. Uh, let's go back to 0. Now, velocity can add or subtract whatever value we have set here on its MIDI note of the region. So be aware that none of these values here will change the velocity number in the region. You can hear the effect, but you can't see the number change. So let's double click on the region to bring up the piano roll. And let's select, let's select this one. So this note has a velocity of 61. So if I get the velocity here and add 3, so that velocity will now become 64. And I can hear it, but I can't see it change. Now, MIDI goes all the way up to 127. So 61 plus uh, 66 is 127 so that's the maximum I can go if I go above 66 anything then it will still apply only 66 velocity because we can't go above uh, 127 now let's go back oh also I forgot to mention it important shortcut anything you change in logic can be brought back to zero or default by holding option and clicking so if I want to reset the velocity here, I don't have to drag it down. I can simply uh, hold Option and click on it. Now this works almost everywhere. So if I take the fader down and mess with the panning, I can just hold Option, click on it, and then click on that, and it will bring it back to Unity. Now next, we can click on More to bring up some more options. Now, delay will add a delay either by the value we set on ticks here by dragging up or down, or by clicking on the arrows to bring up some more musical values that we can use. Now, so I can just have a delay based, for example, on no, eighth notes. Option and click. Dynamics, like uh, the velocity up here, has to do 
with velocity but instead of adding or subtracting whatever amount we choose, the dynamic difference between your soft and loud notes is either decreased or increased. You can very well think of this option here as a compressor for MIDI. So by default, we are at 100%. Now above that, we increase the dynamics. So meaning the difference between now above that here, so lower than 100, um, we increase the dynamics. So we the difference between the soft and loud notes will be greater. Now above 100, we compress the dynamics, thus bringing everything closer together and we get less difference between loud and soft notes. Uh, actually, let's have a listen. So right now it's one 100. Let's only listen to that one. Now let's have some greater dynamic range. So I'm going to choose 25. And above 100, it will bring everything much closer. So as you can see, it compresses, if you will, everything. Also, there is a fixed option here. When you choose that, all the notes will be transmitted with a fixed velocity value of 64. Option and click to go back gate time. That is most likely a term my analog synth friends of the channel know about, because it comes from the analog synthesizers and it has to do with the time between pressing and releasing a key. Now when we change the parameters here, that will affect the duration or length of the note. Now why would you change that here? Now well, you can take the note, you can make the notes more staccato or legato. For example, uh, let's see... So by default, we are at 100% again. So values below that shorten the notes. So let's have a look at this one. And values above 100%, you know, lengthen the notes. We also get a fixed here, which is fixed produces extreme staccato. Now let's have a listen. And all the way down, legato. Uh, that will produce a legato effect for all the notes and it will, it will ignore the space that you might have between the notes. So for example, this space here will be completely ignored. Let's have a listen. All right, let's go back, option and click, remember that one. Now, clip length. That has to do with notes that stretch beyond the region. Because it's MIDI and we can do that. So let's select that one now. Now, as you can see, that one doesn't extend beyond. So let's extend it. Just to make it a bit louder. Okay, so when that that when clip length is on, the note that extends beyond will be abruptly cut off. Let's have a listen. So you can see as long as it reaches the end, it is cut off. When clip length is off, then the note will continue for its normal length. Now score has to do with the score editor. And bring it up. Now we only get two options here. It's show and hide. And when it's, when it's set to hide, it won't be displayed in the score editor. That's quite help you, helpful if you have a lot of VST instruments and you, ho you want to hide certain ones from your score. Uh, let's go back to show. 
And lastly, we've got some advanced quantization parameters, which, as I said earlier, we will look at a separate video on quantizing. Okay, that's it. Let's quickly have a look on the region inspector for audio now. Let's select that and let's select that one. Okay, as before, you can change the name up here. You can double click or use the other ways I told you. And of course, you can mute. And important shortcut, forgot to mention it earlier, Control and M, as in mic. So I select it, Control, M, it mutes the region. Now loop, loop. We've, we have already looked at that. For the MIDI, it's the same here. Now quantize, yes, you can quantize uh, audio as well. But as I said, we will look at that a bit later. Transpose. You can either transpose in semitones by clicking and dragging. Or you can bring up the options here. Option and click. Now fine tune, you can think of that as the fine tube knob in synthesizers. You can offset the pits in sense. Or we can just click up here and bring up the options. Let's go up back now flex and follow we will look at that a bit later gain which is an important one can adjust the volume of each region for each region individually so let's say that i want to make this one louder i can just simply click on it and add 4.4 db and you can see the graphics change as well or go back and you can see it corresponds with the graphics option and click to go back Delay, as with the MIDI region settings, it will delay my playback by positive or negative values. Now you can click on the arrows to bring up the options. And below that, we get a fade in or a speed up, if you will, option. So fade in, and you can look here at the region, it adds the graphic, and we can change the curve. So that will fade in now. Or we can change it to speed up, which is quite a cool effect and becomes, uh, it's like the fade in, but it becomes orange. Let's go back, option and click and right down. Below that, we've got the fade out. And what type of fade we want? Crossfade, equal power crossfade or S curved crossfade and some quantizing options that we will look at in a bit later. Now, the very last thing that I want to cover is what happens when you don't have a region selected. So, the settings here will either become your MIDI defaults or your audio defaults depending on what kind of track you have selected. So, I can make some changes here which are non-destructive by the way, and then record something, and that recording will follow these settings here. For example, let me demonstrate, let's, let's do MIDI. So MIDI defaults, let's take this one off. Okay, I will make it extremely easy to follow. I will set quantize to an eighth note, and then let's transpose by a tone. Now I will bring up the virtual keyboard, important shortcut, command K, as in Kilo. And I will only play the note C. So you can see that. So I'm going to press record and just play C. Now let's open up the piano roll. And you can see that it's all eighth notes. And even though I played C, it is now on D. So have a listen. So if I'm if I am to reset this, remember option and click, then the note goes back to what I have originally played. So it goes back, oops, option off and off. So it went from D 
to see and it has the original rhythm I created. So you can see it's not destructive. And that's it for the region inspector.